Yo, yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy, Optic Scumpy. Your boy is all fresh, cleaned up today. I actually took my car into the shop, but today we're going to be bringing you another Call of Duty live gameplay commentary. Pretty cool topic that we have uh, for today. I think that it's going to get a lot of you guys thinking about the old days. So like I said, yeah, I did take my car into the shop. Nothing bad. You know, I didn't get in an accident or anything, thankfully. Uh, it was just, uh, I needed an oil change, so I took her in. The stallion's all cleaned up, ready to go, looking brand new, feeling brand new. I love her. Basically, what we have to talk about today. Day. Michael Condry yesterday, the head studio producer at Sledgehammer Games, people that make Advanced Warfare, was tweeting at Drifter, a YouTuber, Call of Duty YouTuber, saying, what classical guns would you want to see from old Call of Duties put into Advanced Warfare? Now, if you guys could imagine, just think of some of your favorite old guns from MW2, MW3, Call of Duty 4, all of the Call of Duties, any of those guns have the chance of being put into the game. Now don't quote me on that because I'm not sure how the legal stuff works. I'm not sure if they have access to every single gun. It might only be a couple of the studios, you know, for instance, MW3 Infinity Ward, MW2, or Treyarch Black Ops 2. I'm not sure which guns they have the right to. I'm not sure if they have the rights to all the guns, but for right now, I'm just gonna think that every single gun's a possibility. So now think to yourself real quick, if you could pick one gun from any Call of Duty, any Call of Duty that's ever been released to put into AW, what gun would you put into it? Now, if it were me, I would put in the MW2 ACR. Why? I don't think it would be the best gun in the game. I think that the bow would still be better than it, but the MW2 ACR would just bring back so many memories. Literally my favorite gun from every Call of Duty. I know you guys are going to argue that because of Call of Duty 4 guns, but it's just my favorite gun ever. The way that it reloads, the way that it shoots, the recoil pattern, the perks that were with it, even though those won't be in this game. I just absolutely fell in love with that gun. I don't know why. Maybe it was because that when I, that's when I was like on the come up trying to become a pro player. But I know Call of Duty 4 guns are supreme, but just imagine trying to use like an MP5 in this game. It just wouldn't work. You know, that was a, that was a gun strictly made for Call of Duty 4. That's probably one of my top three guns as well. But that's just a gun that wouldn't work. Even though it would be a lot of fun, it just wouldn't work. And personally, I'm fine with guns just being put into the game for fun because I don't really want the meta of this game to change too much. Adding a new gun would probably switch up some things if it became, you know, overpowered and dominant. It would probably switch things up in the way how the game's played now. Wouldn't really enjoy that, but if it happens, it happens. Now, I don't know how they're doing this. I don't know if it's going to be like a community poll or there's going to be voting or they're going to make their best judgment and put in the guns that they think are the best. I'm not sure how it's going to go down, but they did say that they were possibly maybe going to add some old classical guns into the game. But my second choice would definitely be the PP90 from MW3. That's probably the best submachine gun ever made. I think that's the most powerful most effective, most efficient submachine gun ever made in a Call of Duty because it, it was godlike. It was a little bit overpowered at times. And obviously that was on MW3. You guys know how I feel about MW3. I absolutely loved it going for Moabs and stuff, but MW3 wasn't the greatest overall game, so I don't really know about that one. Also, actually something that I want to talk about because this makes a big difference and I didn't even know it until about a day ago. I'm going to show you my controller right here, alright? This, put this controller in your head. Look at the, look at the face plate of it. The face plate. That's the most important part. This part right here. The black part. Look at that and how loose it is. And then hold on. Look at this one. Look at how constricting it is around the analogs. There's not much room to really like move and stuff. I had to switch controllers back to my old controller because I just couldn't move as fast as I wanted to. And it's weird because I never thought that that was actually an issue, but it is. So here I am thinking that Crim6 is an absolute idiot sitting here taking apart his controller, rearranging his parts, taking off face plates, doing surgery on his controller. You don't know who Crim6 is. He's, one, he's our teammate and he does some weird shit to his controller, not going to lie. But it actually does make a difference, and now I don't think he's as crazy. So I'm curious, guys. Just let me know in the comments what you guys would want to be seen in the game. I don't know. Maybe they'll look at this. Maybe they won't. I don't know. Maybe that. Maybe they'll they'll skew their judgment based off of Scumpy's video. It's it's not gonna happen. But for the sake of things, I would like to see what you guys think. I'm sure that I left out a couple of really cool guns, like the MP40 from World at War. That would actually be really cool. In the World at War, like I said, some of these guns just wouldn't fit into the game at all but still and i know i've been slacking a little bit on the youtube videos guys we're coming up on cod champs i'm really really stressed out we're practicing a lot i'm streaming a lot i'm playing a lot of cod and uh that's my bad if i've been missing a couple days here and there that's the one tough thing about doing youtube and competitive call of duty is sometimes the scheduling is just absolutely screwed because you have to go to tournaments and things just get really really weird sometimes but that's okay 
Because I was thinking about it, it was actually like one of those late night thoughts to myself, like... What would I be doing if competitive Call of Duty wasn't a thing? Obviously you have the YouTube, you know, streaming, all that stuff. That stuff's a lot of fun. But what would I be doing without competitive Call of Duty? That's literally my baby child. That's like, that's what I started YouTube for. If I didn't have that, I would be lost. I just went on some sick twisted rant. Back to the main topic. Let me know what you guys think about the idea. Good, bad, maybe in between somewhere. I don't know. Let me know what gun you think would fit into the game best. Which gun you think would be the most fun to use. You know, anything. Anything that's on your mind, really. I'd be happy to hear it, take into consideration, and uh, ponder it if it's a good opinion. So, thank you for watching the video, my homies. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, this is your boy, Optic Scumpy. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye. Uh,